there are tons of car body types in the automotive market nowadays. For a car simply categorized as a sedan, you could end up choosing from a subcompact, compact, midsize, and full size. If you haven't thought about it yet, the automotive world is as diverse as the idea of multiple Marvel Cinematic Universe, sometimes, you just can't tell what category a car actually belongs to. Apart from the confusion between the sports utility vehicle SUV and crossover classes, there's also a disorientation among seven-seat vehicles. If you're planning on buying a seven-seater vehicle but can't seem to decide whether you want an SUV, Asian utility vehicle, or a multi-purpose vehicle, this video is right for you. We think, maybe, by knowing the differences among these types of seven-seat vehicles, you would be able to tell which one best suits your interests. Before we differentiate all three, let us first put their shared traits together. First of all, ladder frame chassis or what others call body on frame is the preferred go-to platform by car manufacturers in building their seven-seat vehicles, although there are MPVs built using an underbody frame, such as the Mitsubishi Expander and Honda Branch V. Knowing the technical factors that differentiate one over the other is the key to avoid confusion. Let's dive in to know the difference between these three categories of multi-purpose vehicles. Starting off with the AUV or Asian Utility Vehicle. First seen on the road in the late 60s and early 70s, AUVs, also known as Basic Utility Vehicles or BUVs, were designed to be sold in developing countries, primarily in East Asia. They are marketed as cheap and simple transporter, not as rugged as a fully committed SUV. The body design is close to that of the SUVs but with smaller dimensions and simpler exterior design. Among the AUVs close to the hearts of Filipinos are the Isuzu Crosswind and Mitsubishi Adventure, while former stars are the Toyota Tamara, Ford Fira, Suzu Highlander, and Mitsubishi L300. Isuzu and Mitsubishi, the two brands offering the two current popular AUVs in the Philippines, already pulled the plug of their respective models out of the country. MPV or multi-purpose vehicle. MPVs are known for their low roof despite the number of seating capacity. In fact, it is the most flexible class among the three due to the varying amount of seat configurations in the segment. There are MPVs that seat 5, while there are some that seat 8. However, most cars usually have 7 seats. They are known to look like a minivan, the only difference is MPVs are more compact in dimensions. Also, unlike minivans, MPVs have rear swinging doors instead of sliding ones. There is a confusion whether the Toyota Innova is considered as an MPV or an AUV. Some argue that since it replaced the late Timura, it's considered as an AUV. Some ends the debate by saying it's an MPV based on how it looks. Honestly, there is a thin line separating the AUV and MPV segments. It could be that the AUV is a thing of the past now and we should be calling vehicles that fall into that category an MPV, you know, to also avoid the racist connotation. Sports Utility Vehicle or SUV There is one obvious function of the SUV that pulls it away from the two aforementioned body type, off-road capability. SUVs are designed for one purpose on top of everything and that is to function as a truck while providing better comfort in the cabin. Unlike offs, SUVs offer more toys inside with the cost of a higher price tag. Also, SUVs are built on the same ladder frame utilized by their pickup counterparts, which permits them to conquer rough and harsh terrains. We also do have to mention that SUVs are far more superior in terms of power output and suspension system. Plus, don't forget variants that have dedicated 4x4 drive at rain that's essential for off-roading. In the Philippines, mid-size SUVs like the Mitsubishi Montero Sport, Toyota Fortuner, Ford Everest, Suzumi X, among others, are well-loved by families. Larger SUVs like the Ford Expedition and Chevrolet Suburban are categorized as full-size SUVs. There's also quite a confusion inside the SUV segment itself, especially as far as the Suzuki Jimny is concerned. Again, for the nth time, the Jimny is not a subcompact crossover but a mini SUV, simply because it is built using a ladder frame. To conclude on this matter, among the AUV, MPV, and SUV categories, there is a thin line separating one from the other. Just remember these quick tips whenever you get confused after a new 7-seat car is launched, 
If it looks like an SUV but with inferior to none at all off-roading capability, it's an AUV machine. If it looks like a minivan with shorter body and swinging doors instead of sliding ones, that's an MPV. Lastly, SUVs are superior off-road machines with car-like cabins. Let me know what you think about this category of moody utility vehicles in the comment section below. Also like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel. With that being said, I'll see you in the next video.